All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 2 to the power of 101 minus 2 to the power of 100. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by rewriting 2 to the power of 101 as 2 to the power of 100 plus 1. Now, the reason I did that is because now I can use this property that states that if I have something from a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 100 plus 1 is going to equal 2 to the power of 100 times 2 to the power of 1. And now I have this minus 2 to the power of 100. Now from here, I can factor out 2 to the power of 100. So I get 2 to the power of 100 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. Now 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So I'm left with 2 to the power of 100 times 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 100. Now, there is actually another method of solving this problem. So going back to the problem, I have 2 to the power of 101 minus 2 to the power of 100. Now, before, I rewrote 101 as 100 plus 1. But how about I rewrite 100 as 101 minus 1? So now I get 2 to the power of 101 minus 2 to the power of 101 minus 1. And this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 101 minus 2 to the power of 100 and 1 plus negative 1. Now, if I use that property again, that states that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n, I get 2 to the power of 101 minus 2 to the power of 101 times 2 to the power of negative 1. And now if I factor out 2 to the power of 101, I get 2 to the power of 101 times 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 101 times 1 half, which is equal to 2 to the power of 101 times 2 to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 100. So that's the second method of solving this problem.